In episode 7 of Let's Ask MSS, we've introduced the weather balloon and how it works. Today, we're going to review another specialized piece of equipment for weather observation. Join us as we learn how does a weather radar work? Hi everyone, I'm Tiru and joining us today is Ahmad. Ahmad, behind is one of MSS's weather radars. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, sure. While radar technology can be traced back to as early as the late 19th century, the development of the weather radar as we know today began after World War II, where scientists worked on using radar to track weather elements leading to the development of the first weather radar. Weather radars can detect and track the location, intensity and movement of precipitation. In Singapore, this precipitation is primarily rain, although there were rare and brief instances of previously recorded hail. This information is essential for understanding current weather conditions and forecasting future precipitation events, such as the position and intensity of the precipitation. The radar does this by emitting pulses of radio waves. When these radio waves come into contact with surrounding raindrops, the waves scatter and reflect echoes and the information is fed to the radar. The length of time it takes for the echo to return to the radar indicates the distance of the precipitation from the radar and the strength of the signal indicates the type of precipitation encountered such as rain or hail. Raindrops in the nearby area and directly overhead cannot be detected by the radar. This is referred to as a cone of silence. Data from multiple radars is combined to make up the whole of Singapore radar image, covering for each other's blind spots. That sounds complex. Will the radar be able to detect anything other than raindrops? Well, in the past, the radar has detected swarms of migrating insects or bats. But as part of the quality control process, these are filtered out before the images are published. Oh, that's interesting. So how will the public be able to access and interpret this information? Not the migrating bats and insects, of course. The weather information is publicly available on the MyENV app and the MSS website. Let's look at some of the radar images now. The colour represents the differing intensity of rainfall. Green indicates light rain, yellow indicates moderate rain, and red and purple indicates heavy rain. By scrolling through time intervals on the interface, we can also see which direction the rain is headed and whether the rain is getting heavier or clearing up. The weather radar is just one of the many equipment used by weather forecasters at MSS for our day-to-day -day operations. Be sure to download the MyNV app or visit our website to obtain the latest weather updates. Thank you for joining us today, everyone. We will see you again in the next episode of Let's Ask MSS.